now I started to look into buying a car and I asked the one person who I thought would know best, me dad. And I could tell this was a conversation that he'd been waiting to have for years. He said to me, well son, don't know why I did that, we're on the phone. <laughs> Well, so, when it comes to buying cars, first things first, Renault, Peugeot, and don't even think about buying anything made in Britain. You'll be calling up the RAC more times than your mum goes to those late night art classes with Ricardo from that. <laughs> oh, um, well, well, what car do you think I should get then, Dad? Ooh, how about a nice little Honda? A Nissan. Oh, get yourself a VW. You know, anything German and Japanese, son, you can't go wrong with that. I thought, hang on, my dad is just not British and French cars and endorsed German and Japanese ones. Who side we on in the Second World War? <laughs> <laughs> to assist to it, what do you reckon to Italian cars, dad? Oh, Italian cars. Well, they're all right for a few years, then they give up on you. <laughs> <laughs> of course, what's harder than buying a car is passing your test in the first place. I remember my first driving test, and there's a clue in that. <laughs> my, uh, my instructor's car broke down the day before. Well, it was a Peugeot. <laughs> uh, and I was driving my mum's car, which had only ever driven once before in my life. Anyway, we're on the way to the test, me and my dad there, and I realised I'd never done an emergency stop, ever. I mean, it's simple enough, isn't it? You just slam on the brakes, fast as you can, easy peasy. Except I didn't know that. It turns out neither did my dad. <laughs> when I asked my dad, what's an emergency stop? He said to me, oh, emergency stop? Ah, you, you just slowly pull over to the side of the road, don't you? Well, I wish I could have captured my examiner's face when he slapped the dashboard and I went like this. Ooh. <laughs>